By the end of this video, you'll be able to copy and paste within the piano roll in FL Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have FL Studio open. And there may be times when you have the piano roll open and you want to copy and paste within the piano roll. So there are several ways to do this. One of the easiest ways is to first click on the select button here, and then you can drag to select the information you would like to copy. Once you have selected the information, you can press control C and that will copy the information that you selected. And then in order to paste, you can press control V. You can also find that at the top when you're doing edit. So there's copy and paste. So with the new information, in order to drag that around, you want to click the draw icon here, and then you'll see that when I go in the center of the information, I can select and drag. So you want to make sure when you do that, that you have the draw icon selected. If you have this still selected, what will happen is you'll select one note and be able to drag that around. And that's not what you want to do. You want to be able to probably move it around. If you would like to undo anything that you've done, go ahead and press Control Z, and or you can go up to Edit and just press Undo until you get to the point where you undo your last action. So another way to copy and paste in FL Studio is to press Control B. So whenever you do that, it will copy whatever information you have here into the next measure. Lastly, if you would like to copy and paste within FL Studio, you can go to the top here and just select what you would like to copy and paste. And it will select all of the MIDI underneath that. And so you might have a very specific selection that you want. And then the same thing, you can press Control C and then press Control V. So you now know three different ways to copy and paste in the piano roll in FL Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other FL Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.